Welcome to Create Arts Online. My name is Sunny Carvalho. In this online course, I will be teaching one of my favorite super cute wool felt projects, Tiny Stitchy Scenes. These fun and creative pieces can be made into pendants, wall hangings, ornaments, and any other display ideas you can imagine. Once you learn the techniques I teach in this course, you'll want to make as many of them as the ideas you can come up with. What I love most about these little projects is that they work up quickly and they're very relaxing to work on. With very simple stitches, tools, and materials, you will be creating adorable pieces in no time. I'll teach you how to create my character faces on the clay of your choice, including polymer and air dry. No kiln is needed for those. I will demonstrate two different methods for painting the faces before we begin to create the scenes. There's no limit to the imaginative tiny scenes that you can make. I will teach you how to use special wool felt, how to stitch and layer colors together, and many tips and tricks for creating these special little pieces. I hope you will join me as we create these tiny stitchy scenes. Sunny, thank you so much for coming to Create Arts Online thank and you. bringing tiny stitchy scenes. Everyone, say that 10 <laughs> times fast. <laughs> it is so great to have you here and one of my favorite projects because it's just really, again, so imaginative, so unique, and so gratifying. It is. Thank you very much and thank you for having me back. It's been wonderful. Yes. And yeah, I just love making these little things. There's just so many uses for them and your imagination can just take you to so many different places when you're making them. So they all have their own little character. Well, they do. And again, it's Sunny with her character drawing, which bundled into this course and also a standalone course course I highly recommend so that you can dive in even if you're not going to draw her characters right it really gives you a good in-depth drawing lesson not necessarily into shading or realism but for characters and how she breaks it down it's really quite uh, amazing simple. and simple. Yeah, simple exactly but yeah. this one's my favorite like we have a little character here but it's a sheep <laughs> but it's got a little friend here on a pole like the stories that go on in your head that then get app you you know, applied to these fabrics and the heads is, is amazing. Go into a little more depth how you do this whole process. Well, first of all, we just make the little faces individually and I show two different That's painting so methods, yes. one with uh, acrylic paints and one just mm. simply with colored pencils. Yes. So very, very simple and easy to do. And uh, from there, we take that onto the little piece itself. And I never know where these are going to go until I actually get started. And then they kind of tell me their own stories. They tell you their own stories. They do. <laughs> and they are. They're little scenes. And they do. They make great gifts or ways to decorate other things. She's made this kind of stitch thing, which is like a cuff that she wears as a bracelet that's really cute. But again, everything comes from the idea journal, too. It does, yeah. And I was going to say, too, that... You don't have to even do an entire scene because you could even do like something like that, mm -hmm. you know, to make like a little brooch or something. Right. There's just so many things you can do with these. And it, yeah, so they could be put onto clothing if they're not washed, right? Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't be washable if they're on air dry or polymer clay, but... And then yeah. the um, the wool felt, you have the PDF, correct, which is instructional and pictures of how that is created. So you can learn that, which is kind of a bonus to the it course. It is, yeah. And it's not a, a totally necessary kind of thing. I mean, you can do it or you can not do it. It's really up to you because you can buy those felt pieces. And then um, I give a method for just making them look kind of wrinkly and not mm -hmm. so perfect. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't want to get deeply into the dyeing process, you can still make them look look you know a little more worn than a little that. more worn down yeah. than that so with just a few materials like you said and a sewing you know kit just your needles some beads you can really have a variety of these made in right. like a day like a rainy day in the house yeah exactly the yeah exactly and then you can throw everything in a bag and take it with you mm -hmm. you know stitch wherever you are you're waiting in carpool line you got a few minutes throw in a few stitches oh it's so great i can't thank you enough for bringing this really fun gratifying right it, yeah i think so and achievable very achievable, yes. A course to create arts yeah. online. Thank you. Yeah.